Okie doke, that's the basics of uh, Hill Stomp by Robert Belfort. I've only just got into this sort of thing, uh, so I'm still experimenting with it, but I just want to run through the basics of it. I've got this guitar tuned in an open F, which is like open G, but tuned down, down a semitone. One of the difficulties is because you're tuning it down, it's quite difficult to get the tuning to be stable. Uh, but in some ways, that slightly out of tune thing really helps and you want a lot of uh, give in the strings so the strings will actually, will actually sort of pull out of tune when you twang them. Okay, here's the basic moves. Um, I'll just scooch in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. I've got this, as I say, tuned in an open, uh, open F. Do it in open G if you want, if that's your uh, uh, what you what you what you used to, um, or what your guitar will stand. Um, most of it, I'm using this sort of C shape here, or I fall back to this C shape or this C seventh shape. But the key thing is keeping this finger. I don't think I ever take this off apart from when I do this slide. So my first finger is always on the second string at the first fret, and the other thing. So that's one, one anchor point which you always keep coming back to. This is a one chord song, so there's there's not much uh, variation. Well, there's no no real chord changes. The variation is the subtleties of the uh, various pieces, and there's like four little sections that I've identified. I haven't got them all down, but I'll show the basics of how I've managed to put it together. The other key thing, apart from the anchoring it with your, uh, the first fret on the second string, is this what I call a pedal bass. And I'm, I'm not using finger picks or a plectrum, so I'm constantly keeping that fifth string going. Uh, and I'm damping it a wee, a wee bit. So here's the first, the, the first phrase. So I'm doing it, and there's a lot of hammer-ons and pull-offs. So I'm hammering on from the... What I'm doing, I'm hammering on with this finger, my third finger, across the top two strings. So I'm going from the... I'm pinching this bass string, the fifth. So I'm, pin, uh, so I'm hammering on on the second string, then play the top string, and the third fret. Going back to the third, uh, second string. Then I'm going down to the third, third string, then open. So my, my, my third finger is just moving across the strings on that. And if we have that pedal bass. And you can, when it goes down here, you can either go into the third, uh, sorry, the fourth, or the fifth string as a, as a variation. It's all about variations on a theme. So that's the first figure. And then the other one, another repeated thing. Again, I'm keeping this finger firmly anchored here. And on the third fret, the third string, in a slight bend. I'm, so, I'm doing that. Little bend. Then the second string, keeping that first finger back to the third fret on the third string, and then open back on the third and pull off down to the fourth, back to the third string with open. And if you add that. Then there's a little, uh, there's a trill which I haven't really got, but I'll do it here again. I'm starting at this point, first finger on the second string, I'm just trilling on the second string, hammering onto the third string, trill again, onto the top, trill on the second string. So 
sorry, that was the that was the same as the first phrase. This is the trill. So I'm doing a, a trill here on the second. A hammer on and pull off. Then a hammer on the third. That same. And then the final figure is this little slide where I'm keeping again I'm keeping my first finger first fret on the second string but I slide up both strings again I'm, 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 I'm pinching there on the on that bass string on the fifth up to the fifth fret I'm going to slide down on the second string from the third to the first going down to the third fret third string so the whole thing together That's not note perfect for the way that Robert Belfort does it, and it's not my intention to do that. It's to get the the sort of basics of the notes and a bit of the feeling in there. So the fundamentals are you want your guitar tuned in either an open G or better yet an open F, which I think the uh, recording uh, album, the album recording that Belfort did is in, in an F. But if you, you can go down again, um, I think, and do it in an E, which is like even lower. Uh, you know, that's two full tones under that open G. Uh, and it, it helps in getting that slightly out of tune because the, the cool thing about this is you've got this drone going which is a bit like a drone on a bagpipe or a hurdy-gurdy or something like that and you get this slight dissonance uh, so actually playing with that out of tune that not perfectly in pitch sound so that's why I like a lot of slack in the strings and it makes that little bend it's only like a little bit of vibrato in there and when you dig in to give a bit more expression you can take the volume up and down it's a part of the dynamics of the, the, the number when you really dig in on the bottom or pluck some of the upper strings, you'll bend them out of tune, which gives it that edginess. Um, so as I say, it's not to be, it wasn't intended to be an exact copy, but it's just getting in that sort of groove. The important thing is, you've got those basic four figures, I haven't got that trill thing really off. It's easy enough doing that with without, without the pedal bass, but I'm finding that... I keep stopping the pedal bass. It's difficult to keep doing. I'm used to doing alternating bass and things like that, but I did think of actually cheating and putting a loop pedal to do the bass, but I'm going to try and persist. It's a really cool number. I think it's it's easy to rush it. Now, that's probably taken a little bit too fast. Um, so if you're, if you're trying to learn it, it's a lot better just doing it nice and slow. Okay, so um, it's a really cool sort of thing. The other thing when you play it, once you've got those bits, it's doing variations on those little little themes. And if you listen to Belfer's version, each one of those <coughs> little phrases is repeated 
with variations and mixed and matched. Okay, I hope that's been some help if you're trying to get into this style. Bye for now.